Hey everybody, I am back with episode three of my series, She Put Race to the Side and Won. This woman you're looking at, her name is Candace Owens, but now her name is Candace Farmer, and boy did she win. She's somewhat of a controversial woman, but I kind of like her because she's not a sheep and she doesn't play victim as far as race is concerned. She's the type who will date who she wants and she doesn't make any pol apologies about it. She doesn't give a damn what black people think. I mean, not when it comes to speaking her mind in politics and her dating life and I admire that about her now she is a conservative and I guess she's a Republican and her support of Donald Trump had many people upset also her referring to the Democratic Party as a plantation now I know many black people are Democratic but I we used to think with the views that many Republicans have you would think more black people would be Republican, but I don't get too much into politics. Um, but Candace, that's her opinion. That's what she said. She's not the first one to have said something like that, but love her or hate her. She has made a smart decision as far as who she got married to recently, and she's leveled up more than she was already leveled up. You see, Candace, she went to college, but she dropped out and she was a smart woman and she used social media and her knowledge of politics to make a name for herself and she made got a career in politics uh, as a public speaker and she's all over the place and doing this all led up to her meeting her now husband so I'm not gonna say too much I actually got the permission of the one and only Crystalline Carazon I hope I said her name correctly the pink pill the one and only to use her video that she made about Candace. So all I have to say, ladies, again, is you don't owe anybody an explanation of who you're dating. You don't owe anybody an apology. You deserve to be happy. Don't believe for a second that you can't raise your social status, that you can't raise your class, that you can't practice hypergamy and marry men of means who can provide for you, that you're not that chick. Don't believe the lies that some people tried to beat down in your head because they didn't want your competition. So this woman is confident again and she did it. She put race to the side and right now, just like Rachel Lindsay and just like Melanin Matroshka, she won as far as I can see. So here's the video made by Crystal and Carazon that I'm passing on to you, black women, let, let's keep leveling up. Let's keep doing our thing. Let's keep marrying men, no matter what their race is, who can provide and are and doing well for ourselves. All I can say is congratulations, Candace. Uh, ain't love grand? Black, beautiful, and conservative firecracker Candace Owens and outspoken Brexit champion, hedge funder, and son of a member of the House of Lords, George Farmer, married August 30. First. For some, this crusader of Blexit, a movement to pull Black generational Democrats away from the plantation, as she calls it, and the Brexit poster boy who wants to see Britain leave the European Union, is a well-matched pair. Reminiscent of a time when nobles married other nobles in distant lands to expand their power and influence. Admittedly, this is quite the polarizing pair. Their conservative positions elicit uh, some strong reactions. On top of that, they are obviously an interracial couple. Candace and George recently discussed their whirlwind engagement on her show on Prager University. What has surprised you the most about being in an interracial relationship oh wow that's quite an that's, a good question. that's a good question well done whoever asked that question <laughs> um uh, yeah i don't know really i mean what, did, what what what's your answer there i mean i wouldn't i mean i could say i wouldn't say this has necessarily surprised me it's just it's so predictable because it's sort of like the space that we're in yeah. but that 
the leftists, the liberals, the yeah. most racist stuff that we get yeah. under the comments yeah. are the liberals, which is like, oh, great, you're marrying a white man. You're marrying a white guy. And I'm just like, <laughs> what would you have that we go backwards into when it was miscegenation and it was an actual crime yeah. to get married if, if you fell in love with the opposite with the opposite race in America? It was an actual crime and it was a rule. And it just sort of feeds what we talk about all the time, which is that the left is so woke, they're backwards, yeah. right? Which is like, they want to bring back segregation. Yeah, they want to yeah. bring back miscegenation. So progressive, they're aggressive. Yeah, so progressive. Yes, they're aggressive. Yes, we right, talk about yeah, this exactly. the whole time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say I was surprised by it, but it, you know, just I, I'm always surprised by their lack of awareness, I would say. But let's take the politics out of the conversation and look at this union from a pink pill perspective, specifically using the lens of mercenary mate selection. Good old boy George knew what he wanted and didn't waste time. He proposed marriage just after two and a half weeks. While I'm reserved about whirlwind marriages, I think it takes about three months for the average psycho's mask to fall off. Hey, Paul! Ah! If put in contrast to another recent engagement announcement by Dr. Boyce Watkins, decidedly the opposite end of the political spectrum, he proudly beams that after 19 years, he is finally ready to wed. Another plus is that this merger is cemented by compatible values that go beyond, well, black and white. There are both icons of the youth conservative movement in both their countries. But let's take a second and look at the man she chose, George Farmer. He is the son of a multimillionaire and former conservative party treasurer. And his father is also a lifetime peer of the House of Lords. According to his bio, George was educated at St. Paul's in London, one of Britain's most exclusive private schools. And he studied at Oxford University, where he was a member of the Bullingdon Club, a male only dining club. In addition to heading Turning Point UK, he works as a hedge fund manager at Red Kite, which means he's fabulously rich in his own right and has tons of social capital. Their future children will have the benefit of being dual citizens and have opportunities that most of us can only dream of. Most of all, George seems to really adore her and is incredibly proud to show her off. He's quoted as saying, I have the most incredible fiance in the world. I can't wait for her to be my wife. She is the most amazing, beautiful, intelligent person I have ever met. He is certainly no bottom shelf brat. Candace, age 30, left the University of Rhode Island in her junior year. But she didn't drop out just to be a baby mama or work at McDonald's. She later worked for Vogue and a private equity firm. Now she's the darling of the conservative movement and is known as much for her beauty as for her steely clapbacks. No doubt in my mind, I, I, can, I can tell you right now who is going to be better off. When, you, when we look 20 years and we look at the faces in this room, who is gonna be better off are the girls that are sitting right here and across this room because they don't have your mentality. Victim mentality is not cool. I don't know why people like being oppressed. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I love oppression. We're oppressed. 400 years of slavery, Jim Crow, which by the way, none of you guys lived through. Your grandparents didn't. It's embarrassing that you utilize, you utilize their history. You utilize their history and you come in here with more emotion than they ever had when they were living through it. More emotion than they ever had when they were living through it. It's embarrassing. You're not living through anything right now. In addition to developing her craft and becoming a polarizing household name, she is also keenly aware of the advantage she had because of her youth, beauty, and reproductive value. In short, she cultivated her most excellent self, something that we promote highly in the pink pill. So let's see. Beautiful black woman who dropped out of college and became a political celebrity, marries a millionaire Oxford grad with a pop who is a member of English aristocracy. Looks like she picked the best man for the job. Whatever happens with this couple, it's the pink pill way to wish the couple best wishes and remind ourselves that if you have nothing nice to say, keep your mouth shut. As always, this is Crystal and Karazin. Thanks for listening and 
I hope that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to know more about mercenary mate selection and cultivating your most excellent self, you might want to take a look at the pink pill. The original pink pill has sold thousands and is quite popular and well-reviewed. You can take a look for yourself at www.getpinkpill.com.